Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you quickly how to rationalize the denominator of a third fraction or a fraction with thirds in it. When we're dealing with fractions with thirds, so with some sort of square root in the fraction, we don't want to have a square root on the bottom. We always want to have a rational number or um, a whole number even on the bottom of a fraction. So, for example, if we have 5 over root 5, we don't want root 5 on the bottom. So, to get rid of that square root of 5 on the bottom, I would multiply the denominator by the square root of 5. If I multiply the denominator of a fraction by the square root of 5, to keep things balanced, I need to multiply the top by square root of 5 as well. So, on the top line then, I'll get 5 by root 5 is 5 root 5. And on the bottom, I get root 5 by root 5 which is just 5. So root 5 by root 5 is root 25, and the square root of 25 is 5. So I get 5 root 5 over 5. And then you can see that these 5s cancel with each other, or we can divide above and below by 5, and we end up getting root 5 over 1, or just root 5. So now we have written that as a rational fraction, um, or we have rationalized the denominator, rather. So we have root 5 over root 5 is equal to root 5. This next one then is a little bit more to it. So we have two minus, root 2 minus root 3 over root 2 plus root 3. So we want to rationalize this denominator here. So to rationalize the denominator, what we need to do is multiply the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. So the conjugate of the denominator is basically the same thing, but we change the sign of the second one. So it'll be root two minus root three. So that's what we're gonna multiply the top and the bottom by root two minus root three. So to do this then, we do top by top and bottom by bottom. So root two by root two will give us two root 2 by minus root 3 will be minus root 6. Root 3 by uh, minus root 3 by root 2 is minus root 6 again. Minus root 3 by minus root 3. Minus by minus is a plus. Root 3 by root 3 is 3. So that's plus 3. On the bottom then, the denominator, root 2 by root 2 is 2. Root 2 by minus root 3 is minus root 6. Root 3 by root 2 is plus root 6. And root 3 by minus root 3 is minus 3. We can simplify then that a little bit further. So 2, my, uh, two plus 3 rather is 5. Minus root 6 minus another root 6. That's minus 2 root 6. And then on the bottom we have... 2 and minus 3, so 2 minus 3 is minus 1, and minus root 6 plus root 6 is 0, so they cancel out, we don't have anything. So then it's 5 minus 2 root 6 divided by minus 1. We can simplify that further by actually doing out the division. 5 divided by minus 1 is minus 5, and minus 2 root 6 divided by minus 1 is plus 2 root 6. So our answer is minus 5 plus 2 root 6.